All right, hello, Math 10, Mr. Beeland here with your lesson for today. We are talking about X and Y intercepts, right? So we already kind of know a little bit about them, but let's talk about how to go about maybe finding them. So again, the point at which the line intersects the X axis is called the X intercept. So on this graph, that would be right here. And the point at which the line intersects the y-axis is called the y-intercept, which is the point here. And what are these points? Well, the x-intercept is at, as we saw here, 8, 0. And the y-intercept is at 0, 8. Okay, so we can kind of see some interesting things here with these zeros, right? And we're always going to see that no matter what because they're intercepts. So in order to find an x-intercept in an equation, we're just going to set y to 0 and then solve for x. That's it. Just set y to 0 y is 0, solve for x. And then, shouldn't be too big of a surprise, to find the y-intercept, we're going to set x to 0. And then solve for y. So here's a nice example right here. We need to find the x and y-intercepts for y equals 3x plus 6. So if I want to find the x-intercept, I am going to set y to 0. So 0 equals... 3x plus 6, and then it's just a two-step linear equation. So we subtract 6 on both sides, and then divide by 3, and we get an x-intercept at x equals negative 2. And then we do the same for the y-intercept. This time we set x to 0, so we leave it as y equals 3 times 0 plus 6. All right, 3 times 0 is 0, so we just get y equals 6. That's it. If you want to find the uh, points now, right, we found these values, and we're setting it the other side to 0. So our final points are going to be, the x-intercept is going to be at negative 2 comma 0, and our y-intercept is going to be at 0, 6, right? And we want this to be our final answer because this is the location of them, right? We can't just say the location is along x equals negative 2 because x equals negative 2, or sorry, let's go with uh, y equals 6. y equals 6 is true all along here, right? So we want to say it's at 0, 6 so that we indicate that it's right along that line. Okay, so I'm going to do one more example here. Again, these are the solving algebraically ones, okay? So to find our x-intercept, we're going to set that to 0. So 0 equals negative x plus 5. Add 5 to both sides. So then we multiply or divide by negative 1. Move that over, we get that. So our point is at negative 5, 0. And then our other one, our y-intercept, is going to be at negative 0 is just 0, so that's pretty easy. y equals 5, so our point is at 0, 5. Okay, so that's how to do them algebraically. Well, now let's look at them graphing-wise, okay? So we're just given the expression, and we're told to find the intercept without doing any graphing or sorry without doing any algebraic solving we want to make the graph okay so what we can do here is we can same thing we can still just solve it right we're going to want to make the graph at the end so what we do is we just say okay well what happens when x is zero we find our that's our y-intercept right so y int is zero plus y equals three so that's at y equals three so that means we have the point 
0, 3 as one of the points on our line. And then our x-intercept, we're going to make y equals 0. So then we have x equals 3. And then that gives us the point 3, 0. We have two points. So I can just plot those right on there, right? 1, 2, so here's 3, 0. Here is 1, 2, 0, 3. And then now that I've got these two things, I can draw a straight line through them. And you should probably use a ruler. I don't have one with me right now. Um, but as long as we get the gist of it, that's important, right? And again, this is a, this is a function, right? So it is going to go on forever. So you do need to put the arrows on the end, okay? I should probably draw that a little bit further out, something like that. Okay, I'll do one more here because this one was pretty straightforward with the zeros and stuff like that. Let's put some coefficients in front, okay? So, again, if I want to find my y-intercept, you can find either one, whichever order you want. Our y-intercept, we're going to set that to zero, so that cancels out. So we get 5y equals 20. So then y is going to equal 4 here. So then we get the point 0, 4. And then for our x-intercept... The y part's going to be 0. So then we get negative 4x equals 20. So then we divide by negative 4. And you get x equals negative 5. So you get the point negative 5, 0. And then again, here we go. Let's start plotting them down. So negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. And then... Same idea, you just draw your line. Oh, that's a little bit off. So again, this is why you should be using a ruler if possible. But something along those lines, okay? All right, that is pretty much it for today's lesson, right? Being able to solve them algebraically and then being able to put them on the graphs because now you have the points. Okay, perfect. Take care, everybody.